In this video, we're looking at some G.I. Joe Classified Customs and Kit Bashes. The G.I. Joe Classified figures are some of my favorites, like the Kit Bash. They're so easy to work on. I love how they're built. Uh, the parts are compatible between different figures and different... And uh, they're just easy to kit bash and upgrade figures, mix and match and parts. So these are a few I've been uh, done a while back. I just never got around to shooting a video on. So then we go through each one and talk about each what I did. First up, big thank you to Harker Customs. I didn't really do anything to my mender except he made a replacement for that terrible jacket that my mender comes with that was dying everybody sh staining everybody's shoulders and stuff. I trashed that thing and, and he made this really cool nice uh pleather style jacket and got the big cobra logo on the back it looks so much better and it's being wired too so you can actually pose it thank you so much harker this is such a great update upgrade for dr mindbender and i love it thank you again my friend next up is cover girl cover girl was basically just a, i did it started out with just a repaint and detailed out her outfit but some washes, some dry brushing on. Had to fix her shoulders. Mine had the issue where the bicep swivels would not stay on. So I ended up uh, doing some modifications to them, using some O rings and some Dremel work. And now they work just fine and actually don't pop off the figure. But I tried to live with that head sculpt that it came with. I just didn't like it. What I ended up doing is using one of the extra heads from the Articulated Black Widow, the short haired one. And using that, I think I may have changed the ball joint. Yeah, I think I changed the ball joint out so it'll fit. So it'll fit Marvel Legends. But uh, such an improvement over the original head. I like it. She's cover girl. She's pretty. The other head sculpt, not so much. And I wasn't really going to display my scar uh, my Black Widow. I keep wanting to call her Scarlet for some reason. <laughs> Scarlet Johansson. But. This is such a great head sculpt for CoverGirl. Uh, big update for this one. I like it. It's one of the heads I wasn't going to use. I did glue the hair. It had the hair strands going right from the from the eye over here. I didn't like that. So I did take a little drop of glue and push it over so it would stay up in place. Good update there. And for Lady J, I actually mix and matched the first release and the retro card. I used the first release lower body so they have the darker green a little more detail on the paint job on those i did also do apply a wash to the legs to make them even darker and the lighter green get a little more closer to her cartoon accurate and such a better paint deco on that head from the retro card great update and i gave her one of the grease guns from the uh, tiger force duke and not big on like the spears <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're a military operation and you're using a spear gun. Okay. Also use the valve versus a, a cookery machete. Put that on the side of the backpack. Duke we've seen before, but I went ahead and swapped out the lower body. They, I showed, showcased Duke before after a paint job, which helped a lot. But I never did like how skinny those legs were. So I end up getting a bunch of uh, stalkers on clearance. And stalkers are a great base for like kit bashing and reason for parts to upgrade other figures. So I replaced this leg with stalkers. Did a wash on those, painted up the boots, uh, sanded the hinges so I can paint them and uh, they prep for a paint rub. And now he don't have like he has little tiny skinny legs. Did a similar thing too with Flint. Where Flint got a little more uh, intensive on his part swapping, get bashing. The the lower legs are from Outback, the Tiger Force Outback. Much improvement to the legs, stalker gear, stalker harness, and Valiverse gun. And the arms, I uh, uh, heated a, a shoulder, popped them out, put Recondo arms on. And gave him one of the extra guns from the Tiger Force Duke. I got a bunch of those on clearance. Uh, thank you, uh, Sector 2813, 
he found some at Ross and hooked me up with some and and was able to get those. Nice update for Flint. Now some of these are going to be redundant because I'm sure we're getting retro cards. We're getting a retro card at Duke. But yeah, I got them so far. I don't have that yet, so I got an update at Duke. And we got Outback. This is the regular version of Outback. I put the gear from the uh, the Tiger Force on because I didn't like how pale the gear was for the other one. The really light tan. Didn't like that. So I used the Tiger Force one and I did a little bit of paint work. I repaint one of the eyes. It was messed up. And repaint the sleeves. And gave them an AK from Valorous. And we got Ricondo. Ricondo had some terrible legs. The at the hip swivels, they were separating. They were not good. Well, it must it must be some kind of running change on Ricondos because some of them have good legs, some of them don't. Uh, the, the the one I had had horrible like gappage at the seams. The same way with the boots. So I ended up using Stalker lower body on this one, and. I like it. It's such a much better set of legs. I don't know why they try to re-engineer the legs on the Ricondo, which the pegs are in the boots instead of the shins. It's reversed than what they normally do. Normally the pegs are in the shins and the boots have the socket. And on that figure, they reversed it. And I don't know, it's just weird. But just a quick little update for that and much improvement. Much better legs for for Kondo. And we got Low Light. Low Light was one of my favorite figures as a kid. I don't know. There's something about the deco and the look of the character. I always loved it as a kid, so I had to get a Low Light. But I did do a little bit of work on Low Light. One, I did not like these goggles. I don't like how they go to a, a point on the side. I wanted them to be flat. And I don't know why they couldn't do translucent plastic for the goggles so i have to be at ross's during christmas time and i saw a mcfarlane uh some kind of winterized batman figure and he had translucent red lens lenses on the figure and they're removable i only had to paint the straps uh, black they were gray but you have translucent red lenses and they're just shaped more like what traditional for low light I did apply a wash to the figure, and one thing that was bugging me too, the way they did the ab crunch, they put it right in the middle of this belt buck, this, uh, buckle on his vest. And that silver on that side where it's broken on the ab crunch, I don't know why they just didn't make the ab crunch wider past that, and it wouldn't have broke any of the sculpt. Because they normally do the ab crunches wider on these figures. They're, so it's a very narrow ab crunch on low light you know why they, if they made it the width they normally do it would never broke the sculpt there and it would have bugged me so bad <laughs> but with doing a little bit of wash changing out the goggles did i do a touch up on the on the beanie because there's some flesh tone poking out through so i had to repaint that a little bit but overall i'm happy with how it turned out then we got chuckles I replaced the head. I wasn't crazy about the head sculpt. The head sculpt, to uh, just me, just didn't look like classic Chuckles. I was, I'm thinking of more like the toy. I know this. I think this was based on a comic version of him. So I was wanting to make him a little more like the toy wise. He was beefier. I was really wish they could have used the, something like the Outback body, a little bit bigger, beefier, something like that. A different shirt, of course. But. Uh, after a little bit of kit bashing, uh, mixed and matching parts, I like it. I replaced the head with a Hank Pym head from the West Coast Avengers uh, multi-pack from Amazon. And it just fits on there just fine. We got... I like how the sco head sculpt looks. More like the more vintage style, like the card art from back in the day. I swapped out the lower legs. I got the Tiger Force Dusty on clearance. And I swapped out the legs and made them a little bit taller. And pinless is that because he was using pin legs, so now we have a all pinless version of Chuckles and a little bit taller at that. Um, reusing those legs, I had some extra parts left over from the kit bashes. These are the Chuckles legs. These are Flint's 
uh, regular regional arms and this is a Recondo chest and I use a Jeremy Reiner head from the Disney Plus series so I'm mean, basically an original character and a backpack from a Tiger Force Duke so got some really cool updates to my a bunch of my G.I. Joe classified figures um, overall I'm happy about all these turned out just love how easy these things are to kit bash and mix batch parts they that the team really knew what they were doing when they were putting these things together so it's making it so easier for people want to customize kit bash uh, these figures and uh, i have several more on the works but anyway thanks for taking the time to watch the video remember to like share comment subscribe i'll catch y'all next time